everybody, it's Chef Rob from the Kitchen Market and Chef in Your Kitchen, my kitchen. Recipe I want to share with you today is my cream of mushroom soup. Uh, it's a great recipe this time of the year. Uh, so let's get started. Uh, so one of the things I like in this one is I like cremini mushrooms. I find that nutty taste in that and oyster mushrooms. Uh, I picked them up from uh, Shelly at uh, Shrooms down in the Kitchener Market. So get out there. She is very knowledgeable about mushrooms and really give you some great ideas in that. Uh, okay, so we got our cremini mushrooms. Um, what we're going to start with is we're, uh, let's get our stove all on here. All right, so we're gonna start with our butter. We're just gonna heat up uh, our butter. So we're gonna get that all nicely heated up. So what we want to do is just throw our onions in there. We're just gonna we're just gonna saute them just a little, a little bit. Now we're not looking to to uh, brown them or anything, just a little bit translucent, okay? So we're just gonna saute these up a bit. So we're just sauteing them up a bit just to get them slightly cooked in that. And we'll add a little salt here. Now remember, cooking, I always like uh, kosher salt. Um, and just a little bit at a time in that, okay? Whoops, there we go. All right, so we've got these nicely cooking up here. And again, I'm just looking them a little translucent in that, okay? So not too overcooked in that, okay? All right, so we've got our, our onions are all good. We're gonna throw in our mushrooms. And we're just going to mix them up with the butter and the onions. This is the part that uh, is the key in making a good mushroom soup. Um, what you want to do is really allow it to reduce right down to almost to the point where it's it's dry. So we're just down to that last little bit of liquid in the pot and that. Um, and it's really around, that's where you're going to get that beautiful flavor from on that, okay? So one of the things I like to do when I do this, I'll just put the lid on, just allow it to heat up, and then I'll take the lid off from that, and, uh, and then just keep working the mushrooms in that. So let's, let's talk a bit about mushrooms in that. Um, one of the things people ask me, you know, so how do you clean a mushroom? You know, soak it in water. Um, it's really around, the key to a mushroom is, number one, do not soak it in water. That is not a, a way. It takes all that beautiful flavor from it. Um, another one is, I, I've had a friend of mine was at dinner with her one time and she was making mushroom soup and I saw her peeling the mushroom. And that's really the, the flavors on that outer part of the mushroom now. So if you get your mushrooms a little dirty, you could do just a paper towel, damp it, wipe it down to wipe the dirt off. Or another way I do it is I just take a brush. I just have a little brush here, a paintbrush, and I just brush the dirt off, right? I know it seems like, it may seem to you, that's a lot of work in that, but I'm telling you, it's the flavor you'll get out of that mushroom soup after doing that. So that just a little extra effort there will pay off uh, 10 times over, okay? All right, so, so here we go. So we're just really just, sort of really just cooking this down. Oh, it smells delicious. And all we're doing is just sort of drawing that juice out of it. Now. now, a couple things with this mushroom soup. Um, you, can, you can leave the mushrooms just sliced and, and that's how you serve it up. Uh, another way, and you'll see in my recipe, you know, I talk about you can use a, a food processor, immersion blender, and you can uh, whip it up. And that's definitely another way of doing it if you want sort of, you know, maybe a little softer, a little creamier taste. Right? So it's really around, you know, personal preference, right? All right. And we're just, you know, I'm just kind of stirring it so you can see all the steam coming out. I'm really drawing out all that moisture out of there. 
And I know it's, it's you're almost, a lot of people say like, do, do, isn't that all the flavor? And it's not. You're just really drawing the moisture out to really get to that really heart of that uh, mushroom, okay? And again, you know, you could do a lot of, you can use different mushrooms. If you're not a comedian mushroom, maybe a button mushroom you can use. Um, it, it's really around personal preference, right? And remember what I always say, a recipe, it's just a guideline, okay? All right. So there we go. So we got this nicely cooked down. Perfect. Oh, that looks amazing. All right. So there we go. So that's, we got our mushrooms nicely cooked down. You know, they're almost at that point where they're just at that uh, edge there, right? They got a little moisture in them. It's perfect what we're looking for, okay? All right, so this is talk about our roux. So we're trying to get that thickness into it. So what we're adding, we're gonna add our flour to our mushrooms. And again, with this one is, all you're trying to do is just mix it up with it. Um, and we're not trying to overcook it, okay? We're just sort of trying to mix it in here. There we go. So just slightly mixing in a couple seconds, not a lot of time, okay? All right, so now let's slowly add our, our chicken broth into this. And I like to just add a bit at a time of it, okay? So I'm just adding a little bit of chicken broth there. I'm just taking my whisk and I'm just slowly mixing. And really all I'm trying to do is just make sure I have no lumps in that, okay? So just slowly add it in. And again, if you want, you can, um, you can use veg stock too. So if you're, if you're, uh, if you want, you can just uh, substitute this with some veg stock in there. Okay. All right. So we're just mixing it up. And all I'm trying to, I'm just going to bring it up to a boil again, just allow it to get a little thicker. Oh, it smells amazing. Amazing. Okay, so in this recipe, I talk about at the end prior to serving it, uh, you can add some uh, cream to it. Um, again, you know, you can add the whole cream amount to it. Uh, another way is use the cream as, as a bit of a decorating the plate. So just drizzle the cream in the plate. And, uh, okay, so all right, so let me, uh, let's get that sort of, you know, let that heat up. Let's grab a bowl and we're going to try some of this. All right. Okay, so let's, let's get this a little thicker. Let's, again, we're just letting it get nice and thick. Oh, it's amazing. All right, so we got our chicken broth in. We got it all starting to cook up. The next thing we want to do is add our milk in that. Um, one of the things with the milk, I like it just kind of get it to room temperature. Uh, you can heat it up in a microwave. Um, it's really about just warming it up, right? So it's not cold, okay? All right, so let's add our milk. Now, if you like your mushroom soup a little thicker, by all means, you can add a little more flour to it. Um, it's really around preference in that. I find the ratio I'm working with, so always remember butter to flour equal, equal parts. Okay. All right, we're just gonna try to get this a little thicker. All right, so let that sort of kind of warm up a bit. All right, let's get a little spoon here. Let's have a little try. So we just want to do a little taste of it, just to... Oh, oh. let's get a little salt in there again. Kosher salt. And I personally, I like the, the coarse salt because I can feel it, as the amount I'm putting in, right? So we're gonna throw a little salt in there. And we're gonna add a little fresh pepper in there. Again. Oh, it's amazing. Now, again, as I talked about earlier, this is the point where you can, you know, you can add your cream in here if you like, or you can use it just 
drizzle it around, all right? So let's try a little drizzle around. All right, so we're just gonna add a little cream on there and there we have it a nice cream of mushroom soup so get out to the kitchener market they're open at uh, on saturday mornings from 7 a.m to 2 p.m all the vendors are on kitchener.ca slash vendor site uh, and get out there and the upstairs is open too so enjoy the recipe have a great evening thanks for joining